Hi. Welcome to the more five minute St. Louis real estate market update for May 2019. I'm Dennis Norman, one of the broker owners at More Realtors. And if you'll give me about five minutes of your time, I'll bring you up to date on what's happening in the St. Louis real estate market. However, before I get started, though, I would like to remind you that we are not just the source for St. Louis home prices, sales and market data. We are one of St. Louis's premier real estate companies, and we have some of St. Louis's best and most professional agents ready to help you whenever you're ready. Okay, and also before I start, I'd like to offer you the opportunity to get St. Louis's best real estate search app. Uh, this is an app that is uh, fully featured. It'll, uh, if you like Zillow's app, you'll love our app. Uh, it has many of the similar features, but then also it's connected with your local account here on St. Louis Real Estate Search. It's also connected with a local agent. You can get it by going to stlhomesearchapp.com, stlhomesearchapp.com. All right, and without further ado, let's get started. This first chart I'm going to show you looks at the whole metro area. This is for the St. Louis MSA as a whole and looks at home prices and sales over the past 25 months. And uh, so I'm just going to take a quick look here and you can see for the, if you go over to the right, for the most recent full month that we've completed, which would be April 2019, median sales price of homes sold that uh, month was 193.3. If you jump over to about the middle of the chart there, uh, where the red line is, uh, uh, you can see for April 2018, it was about 189.5. So up a little under $4,000 uh, from the same time a year ago. Uh, less of a, a difference year over year. Uh, for the month than there was uh, last month. And if we go back two years ago, you can see prices were at 179.9. So a healthy increase from uh, April of two years ago. But like I said, for a year over year increase uh, from April to April, it's down a little bit from what it was last month going March to March. Now for the, uh, the rest of the data here, I'm going to zoom in on what we call the St. Louis five county core market. Uh, this would be the core St. Louis market on the Missouri side of the river. It includes the city of St. Louis, St. Louis County, St. Charles County, Jefferson County, and Franklin County. Uh, this here is a chart that uh, uh, shows year-to-date home sales for the past five years. And I might add to all these charts I'm showing you, these, this is all from proprietary software that we have developed and created uh, here at More Realtors. Uh, this shows our level of commitment to, uh, to our agents as well as uh, to uh, our agents' clients because we know how important it is to have good and accurate data and present it in a way that uh, makes it easy for our agents and for their clients to apply it to their situation. So uh, smart decisions can be made when it comes to buying, selling, or investing in real estate. So that's why we've done this. So you won't see these, uh, these charts and these tools and resources anywhere else other than uh, at more realtors and with a more agent. So this chart here uh, shows, uh, like I said, year-to-date sales. So if you go all the way to the right, It'll show year to date uh, through the end of April. And I drew that uh, fuchsia line there to show the same uh, mark, basically, or same period of time uh, for each of the prior four years. And, and you can see it, the, the, the trend is so similar or, or it, it's, it's hard to d uh, tell the difference. But over that four year period, we're up about five and a half percent this year from where uh, we were the same time uh, four years ago. But if you go up to the top there, where I've got the numbers as well, you can see year to date this year for the, the five county core, we're at 7,088 sales. That's actually down uh, almost 6% from the same time last year when it was 7,529 sales. And you can see that was down from the year before when it was 7,600. So actually at this point year to date, we're at the, uh, uh, the, the lowest level uh, in the past four years, really. Um, uh, so uh, definitely uh, slowing down a little bit there sales-wise. Now, this chart shows uh, the median price per foot, which is a great way to look at home prices and kind of do an apples and apples comparison, and uh, as well as days on market for the prior four years. And you'll see uh, there I drew a vertical uh, red line uh, to show about a year ago. The, the purple line on top is the sold price per foot. Uh, brown lines days on market. And if I draw a line here uh, to show this uh, this gold line or orange line uh, shows what days on market have done over the uh, uh, the prior four years. And you can see it's fairly well flat. Uh, the purple line shows the price per foot. 
it's had a steady increase, which is what we've seen. So prices have steadily went up at a, uh, I think, a, a historically normal rate and a sustainable rate. And the days on market uh, have have declined a little bit. And you can see the uh, just how seasonal the the market is uh, and prices uh, by the the fluctuations there along the way. Now this is our uh, STL market report. Something else that uh, you won't find anywhere else because we developed it as well. And uh, what this does is look at the most recent 12 month period and compare it to the prior 12 month period. So instead of looking at calendar years, or instead of just looking at a year to year number, a year over year number for one single month, this looks at a 12 month period, the most recent one, and compares it to the immediate prior one. And this is uh, uh, probably the most accurate report to really get uh, your head around the market and also to see trends. So at the top here on the left, it shows the home sales. So we can see for this 12 month period ending the end of April, home sales are down about two and a two thirds percent uh, from the same period the year before. And also in the top row, you can see prices are up about four and a half percent. So again, prices up the historical norm, sales ta uh, tapering off a little bit. I'm going to jump down to that bottom row there. You can see there's a 2.18 month supply of homes for sale uh, in this five county core market. Still very, very low. Still definitely a seller's market. In fact, talking about supply, here uh, is the month supply or the inventory by county. You can see the, uh, the lowest county on there in terms of supply is Lincoln County. They've got a, about a 1.63 month supply of homes for sale. St. Charles County is 1.87. The highest one on this list is Franklin County at 3.15, and that is still uh, very, very much in uh, seller's market territory. And uh, speaking of seller's markets, here's your top seller's markets. Uh, you can see the first couple on there. This is based on the number of months supply. Obviously, if there's, uh, if you can't even keep a home for sale there and there's nothing uh, in terms of inventory, uh, that makes it a pretty hot market. Uh, the top three there have nothing for sale currently. And then you can see the, all, all the rest of them on the list don't even have the equivalent of one month's worth of uh, listings on the market. So some very hot markets there. Josephville, Fountain and Lakes, Wilbur Park, Winfield, Delwood, Hanley Hill, St. Anne, Shrewsbury, Bella, Villa, Maplewood. Uh, areas also scattered out around town. Uh, there are some buyer's markets out there. In fact, this is every market in the St. Louis five-county core market that we're calling a buyer's market. Uh, this is defined by uh, six months or more home supply or inventory. And uh, you can see there's a, a total of, um, I guess, 10 on the list there from Sullivan uh, to Peevely. Uh Mortgage interest rates, still good news there. The most recent uh, week, this is based on the uh, Freddie Mac uh, survey and uh, shows for the most recent week, uh, 4.07 was the median 30-year fixed rate mortgage rate. And you can see this chart here that shows rates of just, uh, with a few hiccups here uh, a few years back, or a couple of years back, uh, pretty well trended downward and uh, just in very low range. So, hey, remember when you're uh, looking for homes to, to sell or thinking about selling yours and looking to see what homes have sold for, go to St. Louis's best home search site, stlouisrealestatesearch.com, stlouisrealestatesearch.com. And yes, on our site, you'll see uh, there's an 800 number at the top of the, uh, the site there, and that is answered by a real live real estate agent right here in St. Louis, so you can talk to somebody live. Uh, also, we have live chat. If you prefer that, you can click on the, uh, the live chat button and, again, be connected with a real live person right here in St. Louis that's a real estate agent and can answer your questions, and we'll be happy to do so. So that's stlouisrealestatesearch.com. Also, you can find uh, your home's value online in under a minute by going to stlouishouseprices.com. That's stlouishouseprices.com. Put in your address or maybe a neighbor's address, whatever, if you're nosy, and uh, find the value of the home in under a minute. Uh, it also just so happens we have St. Louis's favorite open house site as well. Go to stlouisopenhouses.com, stlouisopenhouses.com. Speaking of open houses, we have something else that you'll find nowhere else, and it's our STL Open House Report. Uh, you can go to stlopenhouseReport.com and you can find a nice report like this that is always live and up-to-date. It'll show you upcoming open houses uh, with some basic information on the, uh, the properties. You can click on the addresses and get complete information. But this is sorted by um, 
the date and time of the open house with the the ones that start first at the at the front of the list so or top of the list so this is a great thing to have print out and use when you're out searching open houses we can also prepare custom ones of these for you easily if you just ask uh, by area type of property price range whatever you want so there you go uh, and remember we're more realtors you can contact us with the number there and until next month thank you and god bless you